even though we're all mostly young, it's kind of a you know a high school aged sort of job, summer job. Um, it's so important to be serious and to understand the weight of responsibility that you have. I think a lot of people think that lifeguards sit on their butts all day and just kind of move their head back and forth, but we do so much more than that at HMAC. It's, I feel like the movies and stuff make it look really glamorous and like run really slow on the beach and it's like, oh, we're so cool. It's not always like that. A lot of times it's really gross. Ninety percent of the time, we're telling people not to do stuff, um, and that's mostly like telling people not to run or to move shallower. And then on occasion, you'll have to jump in for someone and save them. But most of the time, you're just telling people not to break rules. Well, when I'm lifeguarding, I'm maintaining water safety and uh, patron happiness and unhappiness. And when I am a manager. I am trying to make sure that everything is working right and my staff is doing their jobs. The role is to make sure everyone's being safe so that everyone can have fun. Because my job isn't really to make sure everyone has fun, but it's to make sure everyone is safe so that they can have a fun environment to swim. We are responsible for everybody's safety in the facility and we're also responsible for the bathrooms and making sure those aren't atrocious during the day. We're also responsible for chems and making sure that everything is on par with what it's supposed to be. And customer service when need be. Dealing with some pretty irate, unhappy people, so. They get angry about dumb stuff. Like, it's just enforcing simple rules where it's like, hey, you can't do this. It's like, well, why not? I need a full explanation. So it's just frustrating when they think that the rules are only for kids. A lot of other patrons, I think, see me as just really just trying to spoil their fun. Like, I don't know, the kids who are doing flips into the pool, I think that they view me as like, oh, she's just, she just hates us and just doesn't want us to have fun. I've had people come up to me and like, why do you not let anyone have fun at this facility? I think that they would appreciate us being there to protect their kids, but every now and then you get those parents who are just mad when you save their kids. And it makes no sense to me. I actually really enjoy the crowds. I love how it keeps your attention watching the pool and it keeps your, I don't know, it keeps you on your feet. It's not so fun to be a lifeguard on rainy days. Nobody comes and you still have to sit there and watch the water even though no one's in it. If it happens, you'll have like no one in your water and you have to like figure out oh, how am I gonna pass this time until my next down. On the slow days where you can afford to let your mind wander a little bit, I'm a creative writer. And so I have thought of so many short stories from being on the guard stand. Well, it's usually more, where's your parent? Why is your parent not with you? Or little notes about the different patrons in the pool, how well they swim, how not well they swim. If they should have a life jacket on, if they're wearing something that isn't appropriate, isn't proper swimwear, tiny judgmental people watching comments. <laughs> Sometimes I, I, I'm like, I think about what would happen if Oh, if a person collapsed right now, I would be the one to react. For me, at least, I go through scenarios in my head, like, what would I do if this happened? Um, and it's funny how you can train so much for it and still feel so unprepared sometimes. We have to make sure that we are on our games, and we have to make sure that everyone knows how to do the skills and can do them in an emergency. We do a lot of spinals because those are the hardest ones to master. And we do a lot of the worst case scenarios, and just so we're ready, God forbid if that ever happened, you would know what to do in that situation. We train so much for it, and is your training really gonna pay off? Like in the moment, are you really gonna know what to do? Kind of a thing, so. It's hard because you can't be tested on that part. It's just, have you trained enough? Do you know it, like the back of your hand? When you're trying to make a save, you think about, everyone tells you like, First you have to check and make sure the area is safe. And you check and see if like, are they actually drowning? Do they actually need help? But when it, the time actually came, I didn't run through those steps in my head. I just did it. Honestly, I don't really remember most of the saves because you kind of remember seeing the kid in trouble. And then you kind of remember like, oh man, blowing the whistle. Your mind turns off and you just act. 
usually the action, you don't even think about it, it just happens. Your adrenaline hits you and it's like all you can think of is getting to the person and getting them out as fast as you can. Saves for me, I kind of go into this zone where I think super clearly and I'm not really focused on anything else besides the person who needs saving. Afterwards, you kind of go back up to the stand and you think about the save, just like you run through it one time, one, two times maybe. And then you're just like, man, I don't even remember most of it. After the first white cap save, it just sort of all blurred together. It just seemed really routine getting in after that. It was like anticlimactic, kind of. I feel like how a lot of saves here are. It's like all this drama, and it's like, oh, the kid just walked out too far. There's something wrong with them. So. I know, but yeah, it was, I just feel like I just had a feeling. I had a sense in my body. On deck, it's very professional, obviously, because you are on deck and people are around and they can see you. But when we're in the office, it's a lot more relaxed and chill. We're silly, goofing around, making sure that everything gets done, but also enjoying each other being back there. It's funny because like you're sitting by yourself for half hour, 45 minutes, and then you go in the staff office and all you want to do is talk to people. And then by the end, you don't want to talk to anybody anymore. It's usually pretty lively back there, lots of uh, stories and gossip. and. <laughs> Celebrating news. It's a cool environment, you know, it's not really stiff and rigid, you know, it's just kind of our job is serious, but we just like to have fun while we're having a job. I really love the people who work here. We have some great people on our staff and lots of uh, different personalities. I absolutely love getting to work with these people. It's the reason that I continue coming back. Um, it's just a wonderful environment. I don't have a specific favorite memory, but I have fond memories of everyone I've worked with. Most of the places I've worked at before, maximum the maximum amount of guards I've worked at, worked with, is three. So I love having people, because usually a lifeguarding was such an isolated job for me, but here where there's, you know, 15 other people on staff, it's so great. Everyone has each other's backs, and you know, cares about each other, and no one brings each other down, and it's just, it's just wonderful to be here, and you know, be around those people.